Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft, and welcome to this very hastily built robot. For you see, sir and sirettes, uh, recently a lot of people have been telling me, and have been telling me quite a lot, that rails in tier 10 are not very good. And it dawned on me, upon the moaning and complaining, I have never personally tested out rails in tier 10. It's just never happened. I've never been a rail anything in tier 10, which is bizarre, to say the least. And so, today, we're going to be doing some testing, sir and sir. So I've made this very quick little cruiser, who is currently called Brick, which is the previous bot, which was in this place. I think I'm going to call it Megatick, if I ever do name it, because this won't be a permanent fixture, regardless the result of today's experimentation. This robot simply won't be a thing forever, even though I quite like, like how it's turned out. Ma mostly because, well, no shielding, still got 400 P-flops to go, and only 5 out of 6 guns. It's not exactly a good design, but it works, that's the important thing. So we're going to be testing out how good rails actually are in terms of RP farming, because, well, I've, I've grew a little bit bored of having medics, more medics, plasmas, plasmas, SMGs occasionally. So I want to do something a bit different and see if we can perhaps do rails. Now, I do understand that rail damage in tier 10 is a little bit, how do you want to say, not great. It's not the best thing in the world. I have seen this first hand. Actual, just pure damage wise, rails aren't exactly brilliant. And because of this, I think that a the duty of a rail, from what I've seen, obviously not played, so I'm going from complete conjecture here, is that, I think, personally, rails do great as almost assistance. They do well at crippling enemy's weaponry, staying far back, and making sure that the enemy doesn't get a chance to recoup as much as it might want to. So, you know, removing Mega's guns, for instance, trying to take out medics at a distance when perhaps a SMG can't quite get to it, etc, etc, and perhaps actually staying in the main pack. Now, the reason why I'm using wheels is purely because I don't have legs available and I don't rate tracks very highly at the moment in tier 10. Although tracks are brilliant armor-wise, I don't like their slow turning, even when you do it very smartly, and I don't like the limitations which are associated with it, so we're going to stick with wheels for now just for today's test. So we're going to test two things really, wheels and rails. And, um, yeah, another reason is I simply didn't have, as main reason, I didn't have tier 10 legs available at the time. As we can see, I have none. I've never, I've never bought a tier 10 leg, ever. So, before I spend about a million RP building up and shielding a true tier 10 rail, we're going to stick with this little guy for now, do a test about how good rails are in a subpar vehicle, and if I like the results, honestly, we'll be seeing a tier 10 rail in my collection of tier 10s very shortly. So, without any further <laughs> waffling on, be right back with the first match of the day, with Brick, the father of Tick. Okay, first match of the day on the cursed map. Clearly we're being punished for using such a poor design. And speaking of poor designs, I did not like the look of that Mega. Oh dear. They're not even tier 10 blocks, are they? No, they're not. Oh, that is... Yep. Okay, well, let's um, carry on regardless. It's not like we're using exactly a good... Wait, is that a... Mega behind us. Oh, he's using that glitch, isn't he, to get behind us. Also, we should have used heavy blood. Yep, there he is. He's bouncing around. There he goes. That was really funny in the first time I saw it. And honestly, I don't mind. I don't really mind the Megas using it, because nine times out of ten, it ends up getting them killed. So as long as our guy isn't using it, I don't really care too much, honestly. Let's try and do some damage to this flyer. Crap shot there. Okay. And that was pitiful damage. Four shots, in fact. Hmm. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. Ooh. Should we turn and fight? I think we should turn and fight all our guys are there as well. Let's spot him for the team. And let's go for the unshielded portion, which is the back now. Okay, the last shot was out of range, so... Okay, yeah, we're too top-heavy. Oh, crap, medic. Ooh, we're gonna be medic to death really, really slowly. No, we're not. There's, a, there's their mega. Back in the stratosphere. One day, Free Jam will do a, a bugless patch and it'll be really, really weird. He's far too fast for my guns to keep up with. Oh, there we go. We got in, into his armor and just gutted him straight away. That's fantastic. Where's the medics? 
That's not a medic, but it looks extremely frail. Damn. Okay, backing off. Just until my rails are recharged, then we'll go back into the forefront. Uh oh, lag. Oh, that wasn't good. That was server lag. Uh, he looks tiny. Let's go for him. There we go, we got kill again, so two kills already. Though the one I think was more of a cheap shot, so I'm not recounting that one so much in terms of my experimentation. So, two dead on both teams. Is our Mega still alive? Honestly, after seeing our Mega, that doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> two guns, not exactly gonna sway the side of battle, is it? Ooh, hello. Oh, oh there's no one there. That, that healer's lagging out, and there's the Mega again. Apparently has one gun. Oh, I see what he's done, he's got loads of wheels for the bug. Oh, we got his gun off again. I am disliking the the, the tiny amount of damage you're actually doing, it must be said. Okay, good, that backed him off. Should really go for his guns, but I was going for his hovers instead. There we go, got another kill. Fantastic. It does seem like you can punish heavily designs with rails at least, so you've got at least some purpose if you want to actually get kills. Ow, my spleen, and everything else that matter. Let's go for the remaining medics, I think that's our last one. Then we'll go for him, just to stop the cap. Go for the guns, and back off again. Oh, wow, plasma right in the head. Yeah, my um, pilot seat isn't, isn't very well protected, as you saw. So that's just a design flaw. Which is a shame, because honestly I felt we were doing very well there. Wow, that's a lot of CPU damage done. I'm impressed with that, actually. So let's do some editing very quickly. Before we go back into a match. Things I need to do. Put my seat at least one lower to protect it a little better. Because the damage simply ricocheted down. Believe it or not, this thing is not Triforced in the slightest. Because, like I say, I didn't have enough time to even build a half-competent design. So obviously Triforcing is not exactly going to be high on the list of things to do with time. So, there we are. There. Ooh, out of blocks, aren't we? Oh well, let's keep it that then. Then instead we'll have this one come here. Oh, I see. It's a little bit further off than I thought it was. Oh, uh, well, I could buy a couple. I mean, we're still building the boar bike, the boar ike, so it's fine to buy a few more tier 10 blocks. It's not really going to do any harm. There we go. That should protect our seat from at least one shot. So now, so the problem is, I mean, the easiest solution would, would simply be to move these wheels further out than they already are, but I love how protected they are, so I don't really want to do that. So most likely what I'm going to do is just extend the armor shell at the bottom by one or two, possibly by two actually. What that will do is that will splay out the gravity a little bit, make the center of gravity a bit further out, which is great, and that should help at least prevent that flippy flippy thing it was doing before. Then use these again, there we are. that, put this here, and then one of these can go here, place this one with one of these, which is heavier, there we go, okay, that should help a little bit, it won't, it won't help by much by any stretch of imagination, but it might help a little, oh yeah, that's really annoying to do, isn't it, oh well. Of course, he of course, heavy blocks. I've, I, I don't know what I was talking about heavy blocks for, because heavy blocks are actually the same weight as tier 10 blocks. So, you really don't want to be using them. I want to do that. But it looks worse, so we can keep it as it is. Which is a bit annoying, because I like how that goes in, but oh well. Don't even really know why I'm paying so much attention to the weight of this thing, honestly. Considering. Sorry, not the weight, the design of this thing, considering it is literally a bot that's going to be scrapped after a short while. So, what we can do is this as well and that will protect the two front wheels and in addition to putting more weight on the front so it's a double bonus there we could then attach it back here as well like this one two and then we need one more tier 10 prism and we'll go back into battle okay so honestly last match i feel okay with so let's go into another match and see how this match does back in a second Okay, next match. Let's see if we can do as well this time, but hopefully the victory. Where is our Mega? Our Mega is over there. Okay. There he is. Okay. So once again, we're going to follow the pack. Oh, I don't like it here, because I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to get many good positions in, on this map in that area. Let's see. How rocky am I now? Uh, not as bad as I was, but still pretty bad. Okay. 
Once again, with oh lord, I wish you weren't on the enemy team, sir. I really do. <laughs> I've seen that design a lot at the moment. I don't know what what's with that. Like, I mean, I've seen better versions of it, but the idea is the blades are at the back and the armor's at the front to protect the blades. It's actually quite a good idea, so I'm, I'll, I might consider doing a variant of that myself at some point. When, if, when I go into cops, it's just less thin. I don't really see the point in that. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to get... Uh, I end up blocking in the Mega if I do what I wanted to do. Can I perhaps get somewhere with a line of sight? There we go. We're going to be hurt over here, but let's go for his wheels, because that might go to his um, pilot seat. How damage bounces around. Damn. Last shot missed as well. Are we getting gutted? Because our Megabot is... Well, well, the Megabot backed off and then everyone turned on me. That's fine. We're essentially a lump of armour, so we can take a bit of a beating, thankfully. Either the healers, please go for me. Air. Oh, where? If you'd spot them, I would certainly help you out. Okay, there's one. Keep looking at the skies. Uh, that's the only one they've spotted, and that's really far away, so that's fine. Let's go back to battle. Back to battle! I've got two guns, but that's. Okay, go for his gun, there it goes, and can we snipe the kill? We can, glorious. Got plasmid, no idea where from. That's the thing, it's just him. Yeah, it's just him. You do minimal damage to, my, to me, sir. I'm essentially a plasma's worst nightmare, just flom block spam. Is, is a killer against plasma. I know this from experience with my with my bomber. It's just oh lord, shields fine, heavy duty just armor is just a nuisance. Let's go for his guns. There goes one, and uh, we can hit the other at least. Okay, and that right there I think is my purpose. So obviously being a walker would be better because I could get positions. I tried to turn one way, the medic turned into me. That wasn't great. Not blaming the medic, just because kind of both did the same thing at the same time. Oh, there goes the copter. <laughs> oh, there, there flips our mega. I can't see until he moves. I can't see because of a light. Oh, the healing light. It's so bright and shiny. Go for the medic instead. There we go. Bit of damage. Only got two guns still. I take more. Well, we've won that anyway. We've won, but I don't think I've done too well myself. We're being very slowly capped. On the upside, the wheels were very well protected, so. Yeah. Oh, it's really sad. I've actually quite liked this part so far. Let's reload, we'll, and we'll go in. We've actually got some shots to shoot. He's going that way, so let's try to get him as he flees. Oh, there's a mega getting in my way. Interesting. My controls are jammed up. Like I can't. Yeah, my gravity just got screwed up at the end. For a second, I thought it was the armor, but it wasn't because the armor wasn't touching the floor just yet. Uh, maybe it was. Didn't feel like it though, because that's happened before with the armor going down. That was just a matter of nothing worked anymore at all. Yeah, I mean, even on a slant with the front wheels, there that shouldn't. Okay, let's just de-armor by one layer there. Then that should alleviate that problem if that was a problem, which I don't think it was. But in case it was, there we are. Yeah, all I'm going to do is just move the wheels one forward at the back, like so. Keep that one in there, because I quite like it in there, and then this one can go here. And that should help the rocking a little bit. Okay, another match. So far, I'm quite happy with this part. Back in a second. Okay, third match. Let's see how this goes then. So the Mega's going down the left, so of course, once again, we're going to follow the group. Looking back on it, I think it may have actually been the armor that got me stuck there, not the gravity issue which I've had before. I kind of just had to look back, I was like, I was so unsure, but if you look, mm, I don't know, I don't really know, could have been either, and honestly, it doesn't matter too much, I think I should have removed the armour anyway, just in case things like that will happen in the future. I'm going to take position here and hopefully take a, wait a minute, I'm going to try and take position here and hopefully take a quick shot at that plasma before I go back to the main group, see if we can do a bit of damage before the fight actually starts. Go for his wheels, if we can, there we are and center and wheel, there we go. Crippled him quite nicely, the, the medic sadly coming to his aid, but we did slow him down. I guess we could stay here, I mean, yeah, yeah I need to change the legs, I mean, even if we follow the group, the legs, <laughs> it's designed terrible. Uh, but we're here just to test, aren't we, so. I mean, so far I'm quite happy with rails, honestly. They're a bit underwhelming damage-wise, but, uh, you know, I mean, they get their, their own little specific job done, that's the important thing. 
being shot by something, but not by much damage. I think it's just an SMG. There he is. Spotted him, and let's go back to the main group so I don't get absolutely destroyed by him. I'm going to reload because I feel like we're going to need all the shots we have. It's, oh, please don't be a thruster stick. I have a feeling that's a thruster stick. Okay, back round, and there's a rail over there which has just been knocked out of the skies. Which we can punish for being knocked out of the skies. Because that wouldn't happen, naturally. Uh, not really a thruster stick, just a very small SMG. I am terrified of SMGs getting close to this part, I must be saying. I'm, I just feel like it's going to be gutted in seconds if it happens. Oh, beautiful! And we killed him on the way out. I guess there's the big positive to Rails, isn't it? Because it's so concentrated, even though the damage is a bit underwhelming, uh, because it's so concentrated what damage it has, it can just, if you get a good shot, you've got a good chance of just one-shotting things. My friends here, I'm going to go for this section here and try to go, go straight through him. Damn. He fell too fast, Captain. Okay, he's the last one left. No, there's two left. Him and someone else. Damn, too slow. Um, why didn't I put a radar on this thing? I mean, I had enough P-flops. Well, there's the last one. Will the flyer get the kill who's really struggling to stay in the air? You can do it! Oh, I wanted that flyer to get it. He deserved the kill. GG. Okay. One kill, three assists. I'm happy with that. 111,000 RP. You know, honestly, that's not bad at all. Let's get a tier 9 jammer as well. Let's get two. We can put them both on the back. They're not, very, they're not too expensive, and honestly, I'll end up using them on my other bots anyway, so it's not really a huge issue having them. And then we'll get the jammer. We'll put that. Oh, I was hoping to put that, that look kind of cool. But we can't, so I'll just put it there. And do I want a receiver? I think it's one of those you may as well, because you got the points for it. Well, that cause issues. Very limited issues. Yeah, sure, we'll have it like that. Okay, one more match, I think, or perhaps two. So, back in a second. I'm actually rather enjoying this part. Just needs to be a bit smaller and a bit more splayed out with the wheels. Okay, same map again, opposite side. Let's go. The Omega was going as soon as the clock counted down, which I'm quite happy with. So just going to follow the group, do what it did last time, and try to be a bit of a support bot. Hmm. Perhaps something like that actually wouldn't be too bad on this robot. I mean, it could very... Actually, yes, adding Mega Plates in the centre would not be difficult. And then having the fifth gun on the back rather on the front. Hmm. I think I actually have two plates ready as well. I'll consider that. In, in case I want to end up keeping it as a cruiser, I'm not sure I will, honestly. What do you get spotted by? Oh. Probably the plasma there that's missed me. You missed! Mahaha. <laughs> let's see if let's see if we let's see if we can get a revenge shot. I'm not sure we're in range when we actually do get a chance to shoot him. Sadly he's hiding behind the mountain. Which means their team's going that way, isn't it? Which means I'm in a quite bad place right now. Okay, I got two shots at him. He hit me once. I'm favourable there. Oh, damn, has got a medic. Okay, it's back off. Could have gone for the guns. I decided perhaps if I could attack those hovers, he wouldn't be able to do that duck and dive thing. So that would have been a better um, idea, but sadly not. Damn. Oh, plasma. Probably same guy again. Okay, I was going for his Tesla, but didn't return it. Oh no, no, there's plasma in the sky as well somewhere. Okay, going to reload, back off a bit until the group is with us. There he is. Oh, that's going to be lovely when I hit that. There we go. <laughs> well, that was easy to take him out of the match, wasn't it? Didn't kill him, but. And, and hitting him now is going to be a freaking nightmare, but there we go. There we go. <laughs> we got the kill regardless. <laughs> okay. 
I'm okay with that. Honestly, that is how matches should go. Wow, he only had like 500 CPU, because even with his kill, I only got 528 total. That's amazing. So yeah, so the idea I was thinking of, after seeing that bot, a bit of inspiration there, was perhaps have the mega plates in the center. Obviously I won't put them here because it's far too close in the middle. But kind of like here-ish. Like that. Then that way we could have the second rail on the back. The problem is this thing tends to take up a lot of space. I mean how much would I have to take out just to add that there? A lot. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can add, add a bit of a heart shield. So back in a second if I've been successful. Okay, we are back, and as you can see, I managed to fit the thing in. It's ridiculous. It was actually quite easy. And all the gap in the middle, as you can probably see from that angle, has been filled once it, once again in with blocks. So honestly, that just filled the gap in our CPU. I did, however, have to sacrifice the radar jammers. Ah, oh, because these things cost 200 each in terms of P-flops, which kind of sucks, honestly. So, though, we should have a bit more protection now in our centre, and I've noticed the rocking is a little bit less extreme. It's still definitely there, but the extremity of it is a little bit less, because it's, well, it's more splayed out, as you can see. So, I'm actually quite happy with how this thing looks now, so let's continue, let's go, and let's see how we fare. I mean, so far I'm quite happy with how we performed today, and how the rails have done. So, yeah. I still don't, I still don't think I rate them as highly as the other weapon types, so though, there's a thing. Also, wheels, still not a huge fan of, honestly. Let's see if we can go for that rail. Who's going to try and go for it? Yeah, you've got his leg off. Excellent. Should we reload, or shall we just wait for a shot? I think we might get a shot very soon. In fact, there is their mega. Let's see if we can get his gun a little bit. Okay, we're at a stupid angle then. We're hitting the rock. Got his top shield, and then got his gun off. Okay, reload. Stay back. Just check out things coming from behind. Just spot them if we can for the team, if anything happens. Nope. So continue onwards. Suppressive fire incoming. Uh, the ally is in our way. Just done a bit of damage. Okay, reload again. Move forward. Taking, he's taking a lot of damage there. Don't really want to stand where he's standing. Okay, now I've got a healer. A lot less um, devastating on the magic. Trying to get good position. I thought he was going to block our way. He's just going to stay there. One leg gun, two leg gun, I don't like your legs, sir. <laughs> I could have gone for his weapons. But no, the legs must perish. If I could have my, my last gun back, that'd be great. Thank you. Just in time for the reload as well, so I actually got it back. Kind of got in everyone's way there, so I am sorry, but sometime. Okay, I need to learn to get in, in the correct angle for this part, which is basically directly forward. I'm used to my um, walker, which is essentially on the side, all the guns fire easier. So I keep doing that, that's one issue, I'm, that's, that's just play style. I'm really surprised this guy isn't turning around. And they go straight for me, really? Not the guys who are actually killing you. Well, I don't, think that, I don't feel like we did much that match, we certainly helped. And I certainly need to make a better robot. But I think that'll be it for, for, for today, so just, I think I am happy with rails, and I'm also quite happy with um, cruiser. Wheels. Just the fact that it's the fact that wheels do rock. That's one of the issues because you have to be so careful in terms of weight distribution in comparison to the other movement types. I'm not saying they're just difficult. Just, just they're more difficult than the other types. So yeah. Um, but with rails, honestly, I don't see the problem with them. I think they're effective enough. I think it to put to, to perhaps someone who's a bit better than me at least playing it. They could be a huge help to the team. I felt like I was helping the team most of the battles. And I had a lot of fun with it, so I'm definitely going to be making a tier 10 walker rail, most likely in the future. Not a walker flyer, probably a pure walker, so I can go for um, armor heavy, possibly shield heavy, definitely shield heavy in fact. And that's about that then. So, Sir and Threat, if you have enjoyed this episode, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, help out me, help out the channel, and of course, show that this series, aka Robocraft, is a series you are interested in seeing more of. That's the important thing. So, thank you, have a lovely day, do take care, and until next time, toodle pip. Thank you.